interrupt my Vegas slots to bring you One Piece. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates. I'm gonna... It's the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Yo ho ho and a bite of gum gum. Welcome back to Ace of Vegas, my spinners and sharks. Ace here, and today we're going to go ahead and play a little bit of Pirate's Cove. It's, it turns out Pirate's Cove was actually the winner in our last poll here, but I ended the poll before... Well, I didn't properly end the poll was the problem, so we decided to go ahead and play Dragon's Wealth instead, but it's not like we weren't going to play Pirate's Cove anyway, so let's go ahead and get started on that. Uh, before we get started on today's video, uh, I think... Uh, let's go ahead and do... 2 million a spin there, just so we hit those jackpots there. That'll be pretty dope. Uh, but before we go ahead and get started, I want to go ahead and do a quick shout out to my boy uh, Chong over at MyVegasAdvisor.com. He hooked us up with over a billion chips just the other day. If you haven't checked him out, MyVegasAdvisor.com. Make sure you're checking out the site. You can also follow him at MyVegas Gifts, Guides, and Giveaways. Uh, if you're just looking for real free resources for MyVegas, not the hacks or the funny chip generator sites, but real official links to the official game, this is the place to get them. But in the meantime, while we're uh, while we're looking at that, let's go ahead and play the actual game with the actual chips he got us hooked up with, with a hundred spins on the clock on your mark. Get set, ready, and get. All right, so Pirates Cove, gonna go ahead and play this for the first go around over here. It looks very similar to the Mandalay Bay uh, game that you have on Pop Slots as well, and also shares the same soundtrack. So I'm sure it's uh, pretty directly related, except for I don't think there's a huge pirate battle at the end of it, which is a pretty cool thing to do during uh, Pop Slots, but it's not quite. Oh yeah, exact same sound effects and everything. So definitely the same uh, same deal over there. Also, uh, a couple quick announcements here. Thank you guys for joining us on the podcast on Sunday. I'll go ahead and put a link to that up here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen if you guys missed it. But it was our first solo podcast. Unfortunately, uh, Chris Rocks and uh, the comps guy, they were out. They are climbing the old corporate ladder over there, making some really big money moves in their uh, respective fields. Uh, doing some big events, getting some big responsibilities, and we are really happy for them. They're making the money, uh, taking care of their families. I think uh, I think Chris is uh, taking care of her her folks. And oh, we got ourselves a free spin bonus. Let's go ahead and spin it off here. See how we do. So it looks like we got a three times payout. Nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and count these towards it because it's been kind of a late night, and I'm gonna go ahead and count these towards our uh, victories and our actual spins so we can calculate our payback percentage. It's going to actually affect the actual payback percentage that we get, but I'm going to quietly ignore that just for today, for the sake of the experiment. And one more. Very nice. Okay. Four million free chips. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and keep going. But anyway, yeah, I think uh, Chris, she takes care of her folks and her uh, sister and all that, too. And obviously, uh, Comps Guy's a family guy, too. Uh, you know, he's got his wife and his bambinos and all that that, uh, you know, he, he provides for there. So definitely always a good thing to see that they're able to do that more easily. And then hopefully soon, they'll be getting a little more time off so that they can come hang out with us. Always welcome on the podcast, too. So just for a little while, they might be a little absent for the podcast for that reason. Oh, and looks like we got a swashbuckling bonus. Man, I've never seen a game like this. Not for some time. Uh, let's see. Uh, who are we going to do? You know, let's do Team Pirate over here. You know, we're feeling... It's, it's looking like One Piece over here. Set sail for One Piece. All right. Good shot. All right. That's another good hit. That was a direct hit on the ship. Ooh, that pierced the hull. Oh, how did... What? We, we, we hit the hull directly. No way. Okay, we won uh, two, it looks like we won about 2.2 .2 million chips here. So let's go ahead and keep the spins rolling here. Yeah, I think we should have won that battle, honestly. If we had Luffy and Zolo and anyone else from One Piece, we totally would have won that. Not sure if you guys know what One Piece is, it's an anime about pirates. Uh, it's barely about pirates, though, because they are not real pirates. They don't do any plundering or anything interesting like that. They just beat up supervillains of the week. So it's basically Power Rangers and Dragon Ball Z, but it's about pirates. So it's like, okay, that's fine. Uh, anyway, though, let's go ahead and talk a little more. Oh, look at that. Big win. Big win. 45 million. What? It looks like we got ourselves a good win there. 
And we're uh, right about the halfway point here, and it's got me thinking about the podcast here. Oh, speaking of the podcast, we were talking about some Vegas hotels. This time it wasn't Treasure Island. We are talking more about Bellagio and whether they should stick with MGM. There's a rumor that they might sell, uh, theoretically to themselves, uh, MGM properties. But there may be another company that's willing to buy them up. I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, that is some pretty prime real estate on the, on the Las Vegas Strip there. So I can't say that I'd blame anyone for wanting to get in on that, especially with such an iconic property with such a strong built-in fan base, too. So that would be a really bad uh, property to miss out on, especially for the low, low price of uh, 2 to $3 billion, depending on how much it costs, or depending on how, how the offers go, really. Um, in addition to that, looks like Resorts World is actually ditching its theme. Allegedly, that seems to be... Oh, it looks like we got part of a free spin bonus. Hope we'll get that before the uh, challenge is over. Uh, but allegedly, apparently, it looks like Resorts World is going to be ditching their uh, East Asian theme, which is going to be large, which was largely Chinese, and it's just going to be kind of a uh, higher end resort. I think we might talk about that next podcast um, after Labor Day because we're not, not going to be in town for Labor Day. So I'll just have some fun videos just for the actual Labor Day, but nothing major uh, since I won't be around for that. Oh yeah, we're getting really close. We're getting really close to a free spin bonus. I really hope we make a free spin bonus before we take off here. So we're getting dangerously close to that. Uh, so on the one hand, you know, luxury, it's definitely in. It's definitely universal. That works for uh, all players of all nationalities, American players, Western players, uh, definitely for uh, Asian players too. Uh, basically any player from any corner of the globe will be excited about some luxury. But on the other hand, I feel like that's already kind of played out in Vegas. Like everybody's got some luxurious thing. You can get a luxurious suite at the Luxor. You can get a luxurious suite at the Golden Nugget. You can get a luxurious suite basically anywhere with a beautiful view and all that. So I really like the theming. I'm going to miss the theming, and I really, really want an Asian-themed casino. And I think we deserve that, uh, especially an authentic Asian casino, kind of like what we were supposed to get. Ooh, huge win, huge win. What we were supposed to get with the uh, Lucky Dragon there. And I am disappointed that we're not going to get that with the new casino from Resorts World, especially since they are an actual Asian gaming company. And you figure if anyone's going to take care of us, that would be the company to do it. They're going to be working with Baccarat primarily on the casino floor, and I was really excited about that. But it doesn't look like that's going to be how we're going to be treated. So let's see. We'll see what happens exactly. And we are on our last five spins over here. But tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. Should Resorts World uh, stick with their theme? Or should they just go ahead and go pure luxury? Uh, you're, you've had it with the 90s style Kishiki theming and all that. Even if it is authentic, who cares? Just go ahead and make me a nice casino. And let's see how this last spin goes. Boom. Okay, cool. So it looks like we end it at 1.527 billion. Uh, 685,519 chips here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. We're going to do some maths, and uh, since we're pirates today, we'll definitely be counted up the booty. And we are back, my spinners and sharks, and it looks like my Vegas is threatening us one more time with a sink or spin. But you know what? We did spin, and we didn't sink. It looks like we actually had a real payback percentage of 108.83%. So Pirate's Cove is going to get the coveted Ace of Vegas favorite over here. Uh, so next time, I think what we have on the list, we have Glee Little Pigs, uh, Blake Spotted Bigfoot, and then more cats over here for Ski Fortune's uh, nitpick. Um, I think we have Howling Reels, too. I'll go ahead and put that on the list, but I'll go ahead and put up a poll tomorrow. Uh, that'll be Wednesday to see which game that you guys want to play. We'll go ahead and keep that running till Saturday, and then I'll go ahead and pick a game on Sunday, and that'll come out Monday like we normally do. So until next time, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands, happy spinning. And again, one more shout out to my boy Chong, because you know what? We wouldn't have won these uh, free chips if it wasn't for him. So stick around and check him out at myvegasadvisor.com. And that's all I got. So strong hands. Happy spinning, you guys.